But, but again, these are these are just car PCs, and you can see here, this is our USB dongle here. So this is the air card. We don't have any external antennas hooked up to it. We've just got the, we've just got the USB dongle uh, plugged into the car PC, and then we're going to show you, we're going to show you different use cases on the monitors in the car today. So we're, so here we are. We're going down the road. We're listening to Pandora radio. You have fantastic. That's amazing. That's great. Let's first though, let's go do a quick check here and just see when we talk about mobile broadband, so WiMAX and what does that really mean? What kind of speeds can you get when you're talking about broadband on the go? Let's go out here and we'll do a little speed test. Let's go check out the Seattle server and we'll see what kind of speeds we're getting here. So as you can see, we just came in at 9.5 megabits per second on the downlink speed. And we just came in at 2.27 megabits on the uplink speed. So, so in relation to, to 3G, your 3G speed would be 700 k bits, maybe. Uh, to a max of maybe one megabit if you're lucky, and an upload speed of 200 kbits or something along those lines. Exactly. So, I mean, this is this is on a you know a, on a five to ten x magnitude in terms of of speed and performance. This is I mean this is basically the kind of internet connection that we're all used to getting when we're at our house on a cable modem. Um, so you know here we've got this amazing home-like pipe that we can access, and yet we're driving down the road. And it's truly mobile, it's doing seamless handover tower to tower. How many, uh, so, what, what kind of service level are you trying to guarantee? Or we, want, we want to make sure that a, you know, a mobile user is able to experience that four, five, six megabits of downlink speed while they're on the go. So whether they're in a coffee shop, whether they're sitting in a car, you know, on a bus, that they're able to get that true multi-megabit mobile experience. The, and, and the coverage and, area, right? Yeah. So when you're within our 700 square mile coverage area, which is Portland, Vancouver, Beaverton, Tigard, Forest Grove, Hillsborough, Cornelius, it's a big, big blob, 700 square mile, 1.7 million pops covered, people covered. We, when you're within that coverage area, you're going to be able to go out and get this great experience. We are launching, we're launching Atlanta and Las Vegas next. We'll go to... Chicago, we'll go to Dallas, what we'll go to Silicon Valley. Was the last to get any decent now, there's a developer kit now, what we what we did what we what we did oh. just what we did just announce two weeks ago at CTIA oh. is we announced our innovation program in Silicon Valley. And we're actually lighting up a twenty square mile area in Silicon Valley. We're partnering with Google, we're partnering with Cisco, we're partnering with Intel, and we have several other partners that are that are just excited as can be to get onto the network. We're going to launch it later this summer, and so we want to get, uh, especially the application developers, we want them on the network. We're going to give them free service um, and get them going on it. What do you need, like an application developer kit? Because if you're developing just for the web, you've got the web here with you, right? So. Um, the biggest thing is you know, we have, uh, we, we have location-based APIs, so we're building actual sector ID into the network, so based on cell tower, where cell, where you're at within the cell, we're building that in. So those APIs are real valuable to people. Um, I'll give you an example. I was talking with uh, EA Sports a week ago, and EA was very interested in, hey, one, the bandwidth. So to your point, hey, it's, a, it's just a, it's another big broadband pipe, but I love it because it's mobile now. It's mm -hmm. going to enable me to look at more mobile online gaming use cases. But then the other aspect is, hey, are there things we could build in with location? Hey, I know that you're playing the game six blocks over here, and do, I, do we put any kind of mapping in there? What kind of location-based advertising, advertising that could pop up um, as well, whether that's in gaming or whether you're watching a Hulu show and it says, hey, I know you're right here. You're two blocks from a Starbucks. I'm going to show you an ad that says Starbucks is having a sale on you know, lattes. 